Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be painting an ultramarine repulsor. And the first thing we're doing is with uh, white overspray. Or actually, I'm using a gray surface primer by Vallejo over black. And we're just pre highlighting areas with an airbrush, fading it from, you know, top to bottom. To prepare it for our next colors. So that's what we're looking like so far. I got uh, the gun options separate on this because I'm going to be painting those a different way. So the first blue we're using is deep blue and you know I'm just gradually building up this color on the tank. Almost like a filter. If we were just to take that color on a clear plastic sheet, put it in front of the tank, we're just getting a good coverage of that color on there while maintaining that, that white and black value. And as you can see, that's what it's looking like after that. Next, I'm using electric blue. And I'm just dry brushing, catching all the hard edges with this color. This is just a, a very light dry brushing on this. We did it on all tank and even the top gun guy. And this will just help break up panels and stuff and you know for, with that color with our next highlight color over top of that we'll still be able to see that coming through it'll just add more layers to it and now I'm using ultramarine blue and the same as the deep blue we're just working smaller areas So that's what it's looking like after the uh, ultramarine blue. And so we went back with the electric blue with just a white mix with it just to make it an even brighter color. And we're working sparingly and just catching some corners and edges. So that's what it's looking like after the electric and white mix dry brush. It gives it a nice faded look. And these are the other pieces of the missile pods painted, painted the exact way. Or the mantles for the missile pods. This is the top, top of the tank. So the, in this color scheme for the blue, I'm sealing it with a matte varnish. And this will just tie everything in and it helps you know those lighter colors come through even more you can see like my dry brush marks on the tank this varnish is pretty cool because it puts it basically puts everything on one layer regardless of gloss or whatever and it helps make the contrast even better So next, I'm spraying all the metallic pieces and the missile pods with a gloss varnish. This will just help our metallics be even more shinier. And for the black trim pieces on the uh, missile pods, I wanted to make those glossy as well. So just doing two things at once with this.
and I'm just draw brushing when shining silver on these metallic pieces. Went ahead and attached everything to the tank. This is what it's looking like so far. We got the gloss black with the metallics. And for all the gold pieces, I use true copper, which is the little emblem in the front. And then there's a couple of those on top of the tank. And then the trim on the ultramarine. And then I use ash gray to dry brush over the missile pods, so all the black, the black gloss pieces. I just use the ash gray to define those a little more. And that's what it's looking like after that. And then I'm just using matte white to uh, dot all the missiles as well as using it to highlight the areas I'm going to be using an airbrush on and inks to serve as a pre-highlight. That's what it's looking like after that. So next I'll just use uh, Gaming Red and I'm just highlighting, basically using that as a wash over the, uh, the white lenses, a couple on the tank and then I'll use it on the uh, Ultramarine up top for his eye. And then I'll use Jungle Green for all the green lenses. And then I use uh, Void Chill Blue for the, uh, the glow effect on the headlights. As you can see, I uh, edged it with white right there on the edge in front of the lens. That'll just help, help me make it look like it's glowing, like light is catching that edge. That's pretty much it. Uh, hope y'all liked the video, and I find that it's a lot easier to, you know, paint things separately like this, keeping colors together, as well as, you know, as a bonus whenever, you know, one step can take care of two things. But I uh, hope y'all liked the video, and we'll see y'all again next time.